and Jet 24. Here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Cloudy skies on our Bob Friend of Ford World Sky Cam. This one, of course, out of the Girard area. Had a lot of fog inland, still a little misty in spots, but most of the fog appears to have lifted as our temperatures slowly climb uh, for many of you at least into the 40s to the lower 50s. Dry roads for now, all the rain that fell from last night long gone. Uh, but as we look toward the west, uh, we're looking at uh, a new batch of rain coming in. And this one uh, even has some pretty good lightning with it. Showers and storms. Uh, looks like uh, it's the southern end of this that's going toward Finley. It is moving more due west. So theoretically, that would take us to the I-90 corridor, and most of the heavier rainfall there would stay to the south. Nothing severe here, but uh, you can see they're holding together quite nicely as they make their way toward Cleveland, and no reason to think that they won't uh, hold together when they get to northwestern Pennsylvania. Now, the northern extent of this precip uh, would get it close to Erie at this point, so I think uh, everyone will get at least some rainfall action for later on in the afternoon. So the dense fog is gone, cool for today, and could be a little wet for the afternoon. It will be warmer and windy for tomorrow into Thursday, but we'll have to watch for some scattered showers and storms. Right now, temperature uh, 44 at Niagara Pier. You can kind of see the influence of the lake. We have 50, uh, 42 at Penn State uh, Barron, Niagara Pier 44, 43 in East Springfield, a little milder away from the lakeshore. 46 in Summit at Edinburgh, 50 degrees right now. We put it by Liz out in Cory. We have uh, temperatures a little warmer farther inland. A uh, little peak of sun did come out a bit earlier, some filtered sun. And uh, temperatures uh, with these somewhat thinner clouds, low 50s. Uh, Crossingville toward West Mead, though 48 at Canadota Lake. And uh, upper 40s near 50 for Youngsville out into the Saybrook region. So here we have again those uh, cloudy skies, pretty overcast conditions. So uh, those showers and embedded thunderstorms will get no help from any real good sunshine as we head on into the afternoon. So uh, I'm not worried at all about severe weather with this batch as it moves toward the east. But uh, we do expect uh, some of those showers to make its way in later in the afternoon. And uh, future cast seems to be underdoing it here in Erie County, but um, it seems to also favor uh, the I-80 corridor, maybe up toward Meadville is getting the best chance for seeing any heavier rain into the early evening hours. Then a uh, warm front will move through, setting off some uh, scattered showers and maybe a rumble of thunder into early tomorrow morning, and then the southerly flow will continue. Now, I think a lot of the day will be dry, but you can see by the end of the day, uh, some instability comes in, setting off some showers, maybe some gusty your storms and more scattered showers and storms possible into Thursdays. So for today, overcast, uh, some late showers developing, temperatures mid 40s lakefront, near 50 along the I 90 corridor, temperatures into the mid 50s on the inland side with those late showers and possible thunderstorms. Chautauqua Lagane area, you could see some maybe a shower late in the day, better chances would be early in the evening, going into uh, late evening before it diminishes. Then some thunderstorms possible late tonight into early tomorrow morning. But look at those temperatures, mid to upper 70s tomorrow, scattered showers and storms, mainly late in early in the morning and again late in the day. Thursday, got to watch those wind directions, could get cooler real quick here and here if those winds go to the northeast and we'll have mainly morning showers on Friday.